Today we're watching 29, Alabama cornerback Minka Fitzpatrick. All right, first play. I don't want you to focus on where Minka's lining up, which is nice tackle. Tony Mario told me that um, Minka Fitzpatrick struggles as a blitzer compared to Derwin James. This play, Minka does blitz. I have it in slow motion. And watch Georgia's offensive line isolate Minka. Alabama's defensive line gets pressure, and Tony Brown, number two, makes an incredible play here. But you see that Minka Fitzpatrick does get isolated. Derwin James wins the blitzes against linemen on tape. That is something Minka Fitzpatrick does not do. So, kudos to Tony there. All right, Minka Fitzpatrick. Nice tackle by Alabama's deep. All right, so Minka Fitzpatrick drops back, gets pushed back on this play. And nice run by Michelle. So, Minko lining up here at stroke safety power bomb push. Down right here for Fromm. Delivers under pressure. Downfield. Caught Hardman. A foot race. Escapes and scores. The matchup is right there. And with the safety moving from the hash to the middle of the field, nobody's back there to help Tony Brown. Again, a physical defensive back against the speedster, McCole Hardman get to it what a night for the guy with track speed had the rushing touchdown earlier and that wild dog keeper and then beats brown here for 80. protection to the right here you got derwin james he's adjusting does a nice job he shows he can play strong safety three safety boundary corner he can play any of those positions i think he could even play field corner i think he's one of these players is one of these players that you can line up anywhere in the entire secondary though He's lining up in free safety here. Then 28 comes in off the edge to sack Jake Fromm here. Bring down Fromm with the sack. This is just a great run by Sonny Mitchell here as he makes Minka Fitzpatrick and Ronnie Harrison miss. So there are some things with Minka you're going to have to work on, like technique, wrapping up tackles. But this is just a great counter by Mitchell. Okay, so Minka here lining up free safety. Good spying on from by Alabama's defense. Here's another play. Here is Minka Fitzpatrick with a nice tackle on this play. 29 lines up at strong safety, stout coverage. Minka Fitzpatrick just showing phenomenal ability to play zone or press or whatever type of coverage you want and really covering very effectively. He does try to blitz on that play, can't do much. Minka really finishes this first half on a strong note, doing everything he can when guys are near him to keep this game relatively close. And you can see that his, he's not as effective when it comes to winning blocks as Derwin James is. Yet, yeah, he's better in coverage, he's more stout, he's taking away areas of the field to throw the football to, and there's a lot of strong qualities with Minka Fitzpatrick as far as the tape goes, as he is a very good coverage player. And you're going to see more of this with Minka Fitzpatrick. Very good in coverage. He's a player that he'll try to blitz. He just doesn't get the results you want. Here you got win. That's not win. That's Jeb Blazevich, the Georgia tight end, pushing him back on tape. Yeah, this is a good job by Alabama's defense, but one of the defenders trips on Minka at the end of this play. Tackle. Watch this. All right, so Minka Fitzpatrick's playing coverage on Jeb Blazevich. He does a good job on Blazevich, but 44 gets open on Tony Brown. Brown misses the tackle. Georgia gets an easy touchdown. And with Minka playing coverage on the tight end here, you can see from another camera angle, Georgia just decides to throw it deep here, and it works. And Georgia takes a 20-7 lead over Alabama. We already saw this tape when we were watching Isaiah win earlier in the year. Now we're watching Minka Fitzpatrick for Alabama. Yeah, and watch the way Minka Fitzpatrick plays in coverage on some of these plays. And you see the communication, the hand gestures, the body language, a lot of things that show how passionate Minka is. And really, just a few quick sample clips 
of Fromm getting frustrated with Minka playing excellent coverage. Alabama is able to blitz off the edge, blitz off the interior, and they're really able to blitz inside and bring Fromm down. And then you get this last play of Minka here. Okay, so Minka Fitzpatrick isn't 39, he's 29. My point is, Minka's got great tape, and he just brings a lot to the table as far as coverage goes. So, overall, you have to be pretty impressed. Minka Fitzpatrick's versatile enough to play anywhere in your defensive backfield. He's also very effective in coverage, which is why I think he'll be a successful player. He doesn't stop the run or blitz as effectively as I thought he did initially when after watching the tape. You can even argue Derwin's a better blitzer. I still think Minka has the tools to be a top-five pick at cornerback on a team like the Cleveland Browns. The Utopia of Sports.